They were everything we thought they would be and more. Uh, Kyle Keller is a great coach. They got good players. You know, they got a program. It's what they have. You go back to Danny Casper and certainly Brad Underwood, and now Kyle's taking it to another level. Um, you know, they just forced us into so many things and took away things. But I just wanted to congratulate them on a, on a great season. And I know Kyle's just getting started building the program there. I can't say it enough how much respect I have for, for the program. They're the Kentucky of the Southland Conference. You know, I mean, when it comes down, look at their fan base and the way they supported their team. That's the way it's supposed to be. That would be great if we can have that going at a lot of our league sites. And uh, so, so a lot of admiration for them. Uh, when you play Stephen F. Austin, you better bring your big boy pants and you better be tough. Because uh, it, it's, it's not going to be a game that, you know, if, if you're faint of heart, you don't want to play in that game. Coach, you've uh, already talked about the respect that you had for SFA, but when you look at these seedings, they're definitely not a 14 seed, are they? No, they're a really good team. Um, look, they passed the eye test. They make sure I get this right. I've watched so many, so much film, but they they um, they beat LSU. They lose to Missouri by one point. They've won true road games at places like Louisiana Tech. Um, they had a great run in their conference. Uh, which, to me, being a Texas guy, I understand how good the Southland Conference is and how good the coaching is. And it's probably the most underrated conference, good basketball and good coaches. And then they do what's, to me, the toughest thing to do in all of sports, and is that's to win your conference tournament after you've had a great season. And I think it's more pressure-filled than Game 7 in the NBA Finals or the Super Bowl. I've never participated in those. But when I was at Little Rock, we had a special season. And it gets down to that championship game of your conference tournament. And you have to win it to advance. And it's, uh, it's a different level of pressure and stress. So just the fact that Stephen F. Austin did that, that's all I needed to know personally about how tough this team was. So I think they're a really good basketball team. And uh, we're just pleased to win the game. Um, got a lot of respect for their players and their coach. They're one of the best defensive teams in college basketball. I mean, they really are. Like, they, uh, their turnover margin, I think, is number one. I know, I know we were telling our guys all week long they caused more turnovers or the differentials more than West Virginia. That got, that got our guys' attention. You know, I can step up there and talk all night, and I don't know if they listen or not, but when I say, hey, these guys make you turn it over like West Virginia, they listen. Um, and so, yeah, I, I just think it was them playing their game. They've been doing that all year, whether it be their non-conference wins, their, their, their successful run through the Southland Conference, winning a championship in a conference tournament. They're just a good defensive team. They do it in different ways. Uh, they'll trap, they'll deny, they press. And then above all, it's just discipline. It's a Kyle Keller team. You know, they're not going to make mistakes. They're hard. They're tough. Uh, we're, we're pleased to get this win. You know, I would agree with the first question. That, that's not a 14 seed. That's, that's one of the best teams, uh, you know, I think in college basketball this year.